Weather Forecast with Meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Hey, good morning out there, guys. Look outside. Very cloudy out there at the moment. Also a little... A little hazy in some areas at this hour. Look at the visibility across uh, the region. We're seeing some lighter fog now in Lafayette, Jennings, and farther to the west as well, in north, Opelousas, two miles. Here in Hammond, it looks like three mile visibility and even some more fog down near Homa, although the uh, recording there isn't functioning at the moment in Homa. Now, Baton Rouge, Gonzales, you're good for fog this morning, but there is a dense fog advisory in effect for areas around Baton Rouge along the I-10, I-12 corridor and south. So we'll I'll just have to keep a close eye on it. Yesterday we did see fog at this time. Today may be less likely because of this stalled front that's sitting directly over Baton Rouge. Uh, that's what made the forecast really tricky for yesterday, but it looks like it panned out pretty well for the light rain chances. Lots of rain up north, though, in Tennessee and Kentucky from this system. Now this cold front's eventually going to back off. It's going to push farther to the north, and then it's going to go farther to the south again later tonight, which will bring more rain. But right now, rain is not a concern with that stalled boundary that is sitting over us. And you can see where that boundary is located just by looking at the current temperature map. Check this out. It is 68 degrees right now in Napoleonville. Look at that, Woodville at 43 degrees. So there's your temperature gradient for you. You can see it in both the colors and the numbers of where that front is located, which is pretty much directly over Baton Rouge. But again, it's going to back off later today. Right now we have a north wind coming in and for some of our Mississippi counties and northern parishes and a south wind coming in from our southern parishes, just like yesterday. Uh, temperatures are going to begin to warm today, though, as that front backs off and pushes to the north. It's going to turn into a little bit of a warm front, uh, which will bring in warmer air from the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to be in the mid 70s around lunchtime in the afternoon. We could actually get back into the 80s, but we will see a few showers through the morning and afternoon. And then that front's going to push through tonight after 10 o'clock. And that's when we're going to notice some stormy conditions lasting overnight into tomorrow morning. So that will bring changes to the forecast. And then it looks like tomorrow night we are back into the 50s. So. How much rain have we seen yesterday? We did see a few showers. I said we would see some light showers, but nothing crazy. That looks to have panned out. Most areas only saw a trace amount of rain. Future track radar also keeping some scattered showers with us uh, as we go later into the morning and into the early afternoon. Maybe one or two thunderstorms, um, but they're going to be pretty isolated throughout the day today until we get to tonight. This is at 9 o'clock. You're going to notice those showers and storms beginning to develop as that front now pushes through through Baton Rouge, and we'll have a really strong line of storms right around midnight in Baton Rouge and into the overnight hours or early morning hours on Friday. Could still have a little bit of a runover precipitation event here uh, once we go to uh, tomorrow morning, so maybe some light showers, but no storms tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, other than a couple sprinkles, I'm not expecting much as far as rain's concerned, but we will still have plenty of cloud cover. As far as the amount of rain that's going to fall with this, again, some areas may see a quarter inch, some areas in the heavier thunderstorms may see see over an inch of rain. This is just a look at one of the computer models of what this is putting out. It's got about half an inch to an inch of rain, which seems to be the picture mostly along that frontal passage around midnight. So hourly temperatures staying pretty mild for the next couple of hours. We'll be back into the 80s though this afternoon before that front pushes through. And then a look at your seven day forecast. You'll see that will lead to cooler temperatures tomorrow night or tonight. I mean 52 degrees, 62 for a high tomorrow. Morning showers, but the afternoon should be good on Friday. And then Saturday is dry back in the upper 60s, but it cools down again on Sunday with some more showers. And then we're back to 70 for Fat Tuesday. Ash Wednesday looking to be 72 degrees.